Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to talk about Necrotronic, which has a release date of August 9th, 2019 for North America. So please keep your eyes peeled for that. Our movie does start out with two friends in a waste removal business truck, kind of driving around doing their thing, smoking a little weed, you know when the friend starts telling our main character, Howard, about a new game on his phone, which is kind of reminiscent of a game where you could walk around catching little monsters, and we all know what this is alluding to. Apparently, it's an app where you find ghosts, and then you catch them. You can also see wraiths, and there seem to be these pods popping up on telephone poles all around the area, which is very strange, but they kind of play it off to, you know, we put these up here to boost the signal, as you do. We find out that the game is actually run by Finnegan, who is a uber demon, as the opening credits let us know that thousands of years ago, before Sigourney Weaver, people somehow accidentally summon demons by sacrificing animals to gods. The demons then would jump into humans' bodies, and then humans figured out a way that they could shoot them into the internet, kind of, to then pull them out to kill them. But Uber Demon, Finnegan, figured out a way to possess people and steal souls through this app. Unfortunately, Howard's friend does get killed as they encounter a group of necromancers who are trying to fight the demons, and Howard himself accidentally turns him into a wraith. Literally the best wraith ever. We find out that Howard is uh, from a very powerful lineage of necromancers, and unfortunately Finnegan is his mother, whom was possessed by a very powerful demon. So Howard and his new necromancer friends have to figure out a way to both hone his skills, fight demons that are after them, stop people from getting killed during this app, figure out a way to defeat all evil while having a good time with a wraith. I'm going to end it off here as it is spoiler free, but I am going to say I cannot wait to get my hands on a physical copy of this movie so I can literally watch it anytime. Immediately when I was done with this, I told the groom, you would really like this. You should have watched it with me. It's such a good time. I can't wait for you to see it. You are right. I freaking love this movie. <laughs> Alright, so this movie, to me... It's like this weird combination of Harry Potter playing Pokemon Go with the Ghostbusters with a little Matrix in there, all in the Evil Dead universe. Yeah. And it's pretty freaking awesome. It's just... I wish it was all August 9th, because that's when this movie comes out. Because I kind of want to watch it. We could have it in sticky little fingers. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, so I, uh, she watched this movie, and I was like, nah, I'm good. And then she watched it, and she's like, I really think you'll like it. And after being married for <sighs> how many years, I should just trust her judgment and watch movies that she says I'll enjoy, because I really did like this movie. So what did you like about it? I liked that there is both practical effects and CGI intertwined done really 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 well i loved all the you know prosthetics on the demon's faces really and good. on rangi's face because he's a wraith um i liked the creature design for the demons just oh it was so good some of the blood splatter that was cgi not perfect but not bad yeah i was about to say i've seen significantly worse cgi blood splatter i will tell you one of the many things I enjoyed about this was, I think this was scored perfectly. The music in this was perfect. There's this, there's a scene where a certain song plays where she's going down this hallway, and it's it's literally perfect. You wouldn't think that was the perfect song for it, and then they put the song in the scene, and it's 
bring it on. Awesome. Yeah, the soundtrack is great. But, they did a great job. Yeah, I mean, job. I really enjoy the combination of CJ practical effects. They inter they intertwine them very good. And that's very hard to do. I haven't seen it done that good since Deadpool. And the comedy. Speaking of Deadpool, the freaking comedy in this I is swear, amazing. I swear, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are somewhere in, or in this movie somehow. Their fingers... Your hands are on this movie somehow because there's a scene that is will automatically remind you of Shaun of the Dead. I really thought this segment was going to end with and then pop into the Winchester for a pint. Um, so what didn't you like about the movie? I don't... I'm... There's just literally some... I can't. Dead space. I here. can't think of anything that I could say that was really a dislike. I will tell you one thing. One, I would have loved a little more backstory. Eh. Just, just a smidge more. For how? Because Howard? they, because no, they talked about how, like the lineage thing. I'd like to know how long this this has been going on for. Since the dawn of time. Since the dawn of time. I'd like to see a little bit of, like, lineage stuff, kind of throwback to, like, them, like, you know, demons trying to suck souls out of, like, Vikings and stuff like that. I could, I would have liked that. That's not really a dislike, but that's, like, a little pet peeve there for me. I mean, and it started a little slow, but the really good thing about the slow start is there was a lot of comedy in the slow start. If you're gonna do like a drawn out introduction before you get to the action, you have to put a ton of comedy in there. That's what Shaun of the Dead did. And the intro is animated and it made me think of the intro to Tank Girl, which I love. I love Tank Girl. Very big fan of Tank Girl. I mean so there there isn't really di there isn't really dislikes. I don't think it's the perfect movie, but it's a really good movie. Yeah. Especially for a movie that's not getting a lot of like uh not getting a lot of, like, huge PR. You don't see it a lot everywhere. Like, people aren't... There isn't, like, a huge, like, run of these trailers and stuff like that. And people I reacting to I had not them. even heard of the trailer till I found out about the movie. And if you have not seen the trailer, please see the trailer. It is available on YouTube. We could link it down below, I think. Yep, I can We can link that. it down below. I'm please awesome. check it out before you see it when it comes out August 9th. I remembered. Very good. All right, so... What do you rate it? I would give this probably a four out of five. It's not the perfect movie, but it's a really, really, really good time. I had a super fun time watching it. I think this is the third time I've watched it so far <laughs> from the initial review I did. I, you know, recorded my review and then I watched it again. And then we watched it again tonight because you finally realized that I'm always right. Yep. So... I uh, I would have to give this a four point five out of five. I, I really like this movie. I thought it was it was a really cool premise on if you play games on your phone, you're really gonna enjoy this movie because it's the whole premise of it is people on their phones, and, and I loved it. And it's not necessarily games because the one was taking a selfie. And oh stuff yeah, like if that. it's Snapchat, that's going to be the way if, um, people get invaded by demons. Yeah, I'm well, done. I'm done. The whole world is screwed. It's going to be me and the cat, demons. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Um, also, like, everyone has a phone in their hand most of the time. Yeah. So this is a really l ridiculous but plausible <laughs> thought. It's ridiculous, but there's, there's like, honestly, there's, like honest, honest fear in there. Yeah. You're like, oh, shit. Like all the times I'm trolling Instagram just lurking, I could get possessed by a demon. She's lurking. I'm lurking. Um, so, yeah, I... This was a good time. This was a good time for me, uh, from what I read on the uh, screener stuff that they sent us. It's going to be DVD, video on demand, digital download. They haven't nailed down any streaming avenues that it could be on, but I mean, keep an eye out for this movie. It comes out August 9th. August 9th. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Necrotronic. Put down your phones, people. That's how the demons are getting in. Bye. Bye. Wait. Oh, we almost forgot to tell people <laughs> how to find us. Just so excited about this. <laughs> so, if you did enjoy this review, please give it a thumbs up. If you like using Snapchat and all the dumb dog filters, give it a thumbs up. Have you seen the trailer? 
please watch the trailer. After you have, please leave some comments down below with your thoughts. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. The solo and also reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content. Where are going to find you? You can find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. There are links for all of our social media in the description, and I will attempt to link a the trailer for this movie down in the description because this will come out. I think we're gonna do this about a couple of days before it comes out, so uh, no. you'll have, definitely have time to check out the trailer. So there goes the cat. Yep. I guess here we go. Bye. Bye.